And finally, people, the moment has arrived. It is the last Patriot News Penn State football video for 2007. And technically, Joe Herman's clapping in the background. Technically, it's not even a Patriot News presentation today. Dave Jones, sadly, could not make it. He and his UCLA hoodie are now en route to Dallas. So Mark Brennan, uh, the publisher of Fight on State, has been kind enough to sit in for Dave Jones. Uh, Mark, if you don't know, is a heck of a basketball player in his day from the Hazleton area. He's also <laughs> a very good friend of Ray Saul, who oh. made news earlier this week. But that is a story for I another day. I can do day. it, too. I can do it. Mark, uh, Joe Paterno just had a off-the-record, sort of, uh, yeah. season-ending press conference that Joe Hermit was really not allowed to participate in. Uh, that, again, is another story. What were your impressions of what Joe had to say today? Well, Without first, giving too much away yeah. and spoiling it for your audience. No, not, I don't mind at all. First of all, I, was, uh, I actually like the fact that Joe shut down all cameras videos, uh, audio. I, I am anti-photographer as well. I'm not. I actually do, a, I moonlight a little bit as a photographer and do some video, but uh, I think it got back to kind of the old sort of off the record um, thing that they did maybe 10, 15 years ago. This day after the Bowl press conference was always one of the, the more informative things. Right. And when TV cameras started showing up, and with all due respect to TV cameras, they're, right. they're good people too who do TV. Um, I just thought it lost a little something. So having kind of an informal session here at the uh, Riverwalk, I thought was cool. I mean, what came out of it? I think that Joe thinks that he's very comfortable with his contract situation, even though it only goes through 2008. Um, he doesn't seem overly concerned that his assistants are going to be thrown under the bus <laughs> when and if a, a change happens. Uh, he seemed to think that... Uh, one of the keys going into next year right. is smoothing out some of the off the field stuff. And he talked again, and I was a little bit surprised last night, I don't know if you were, about uh, his own physical issues. The right. leg that was injured is fine, he said, but just kind of his stamina isn't where it used to be. So I know I'm going on, but I, that's what Dave Jones does, doesn't it? So, doesn't he? So I have to, to kind of Buddy, do Buddy, you does. are nowhere near as bad as Jinxie. That, okay. was, that was actually short. Yeah, I, it's, I, people forget that it's actually not the, the leg he broke that's the problem. It's the it's the right leg, the leg he compensates on, that's actually giving him more yeah. of a problem now. And you could kind of see it during the game last night that he was running out of steam a little bit. And I think, uh, you know, the fact that he did just turn 81, he needs to recharge his battery, batteries a little bit better every year. Uh, one thing to touch on, Daryl Clark obviously looked very good yeah. uh, in, in 10 on 11 duty last night when he came in to run the offense and they put Morelli out at wide out so that it was A&M had 11 guys against Penn State's 10 guys. For some strange reason, A&M couldn't stop that. But um, it, it, it begs the question, who's going to be the quarterback next year? And yeah. Joe, I thought, went out of his way to make sure that everyone knew that as well as Clark played, that Devlin's going to uh, get his crack at the job. What are your thoughts on that competition? Well, it's, a, it's a big deal going into yeah, the I mean, spring. You, you, there's no secret that you and I are bitter enemies in, in this debate. We're going to differ, but yeah, you go. We may go round and round. But I, I, you know, I've up until this point, right. I had thought that Devlin uh, was going to be the guy who emerged only because I think he's a better passer. From everything right. we hear about practice, uh, practices obviously aren't open. Uh, Clark has been kind of scattershot with his arm. Uh, the funny thing last night, Guido D'Elia De ends up sitting next to me in the second quarter. And I just get done telling him how stupid <laughs> that Morelli at wideout and Clark at quarterback thing is. And two plays later, Clark scores. So I don't. Then you come over and start ripping me. So Brennan, who do you think is going to be the quarterback next year? You know, I we still Clark obviously an unbelievable right. athlete. Can he pass? Can he chuck to pigskin? And I think I don't know that you could have a one-dimensional guy. Michael Robinson in 2005 at least had had some. Uh, a little bit of a history right. passing the ball, and I just don't know that we've seen that yet from Clark. So that's obviously, if he can com complete 62, 65 percent of his passes, uh, he'll probably be the guy. But I'm not sure that he could do that. Right. The thing I remember about 2005 is Michael started actually very badly yeah. uh, against some teams and kind of grew 
into the role. He made that play on the road at Northwestern, and that was kind of the springboard. I I could see a similar thing with Daryl if Joe decides to go with him. I, I just think that in today's college football, you need a mobile quarterback uh, to make plays on third down when the defense kind of takes some things away or gets the pass rush going. I'm sure Devlin's a great player, but I really think that it'll be Clark's job to lose. Maybe he'll lose it. Maybe Devlin will beat him out, but uh, usually the way things have gone at Penn State is there's a there's a there is kind of a pecking order going in, and I think Daryl gets first shot at the job. It'll be fun to see uh, how they run the offense. Well, to a couple things, uh, Clark um, Devlin. I think you may be under underestimating his ability to run, to run the ball. Right. He's not in Clark's league, but I think he is a mobile mobile quarterback. People who saw him in Downingtown, I think, will tell you that. The other thing about Clark, though, that I don't think we've discussed, he really is a dynamic personality. Yes. This is a guy in the Michael Robinson mode, and with all due respect to Anthony Morelli, I, I just, or anybody, you know, Tony Hunt, anybody on that offense, they have not had that dynamic personality, and I think that could come into play as well. I mean, at Penn State, I think the best teams have had dynamic quarterbacks, uh, you know, whether it's, I mean, personality, whether right. it's Schaefer, uh, Kerry Collins to an extent, Blackledge, you see right. where he is now, Michael Robinson, and uh, right. Clark, obviously, I mean, you talk to him after the game, right. just full of emotion, handles himself well with the media, uh, so I think that could come into play as well. Yeah, and it's important, I think, that his teammates believe in him, especially in the fourth quarter, when Michael was the quarterback, when the game was close, I think there was a sense that, especially on the offensive guys, figured out, or knew that he would find a way somehow to make a play, I, right. you know, Anthony Morelli has great physical skills, but I just got this, the uh, perception that the season went on that there wasn't a lot of faith in him among his teammates, and maybe that. Well, and was, you wonder if they tried to, yeah. to to force that against Michigan State late in the game yeah. by, by having him pass on those four downs uh, when they had basically run the ball straight down the field. Uh, your favorite Dave Jones story of the year? On, just on a quick note, do you have one for us? Uh, I, I mean, the whole thing with him wearing a cowboy hat. I mean. Not many people could pull off the cowboy hat look. Not many people from wherever he's from, Easton or uh, Exton or Downingtown or whatever it is, uh, can pull that off. I thought that was, uh, you know, spectacular. I mean, I just thought he looked handsome, dashing, all the things that you expect from Dave Jones. And, and honestly, while it's going to be sad for you guys, the viewers, that you're not going to get to see Dave talk football uh, in front of the in front of the camera for another. You know, 12 months. Mark, you get to deal with him on the basketball beat, and I'm sure it's, that's a quite a special time for you. It is. I learn more about basketball sitting next to Dave Jones than I don't. I mean, it's it's amazing. I just can't tell you that just being next to him. I right. mean, just being next. He doesn't even have to talk. He, you could just absorb the basketball vibes from. He Dave oozes Jones. knowledge. And now that we get, with yeah, now things. that we get Comcast up and up in State College, I could see him. You know, after he goes down and begs to be on Com on uh, Daily News Live, uh, I could see him on Daily News Live, so that's cool too. It's going to be a fun spring for you. I, it I, is. I don't think I'm speaking out of line there, Mark. I appreciate the pinch hitting job as Great always. To be here. Thanks for having I'm me. I'm going to wish you a happy 2008. Now that's it for the Patriot News uh, Penn State football report. We'll see you hopefully in August. <laughs> and that's a wrap. <laughs>